morning. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Riding with B Craig. Haven't posted a video in a while. I think I posted a couple of my vlogs around being out and about, partying myself off, partying, partying around Waikiki and Chinatown. But I haven't did a beat a beat Craig vlog in a while. I mean, uh, riding with B Craig. Um, what you call it? Thing in a while, right? So today I want to do a riding with B Craig, a riding with B Craig, but I'm gonna do it a little bit different, right? I'm not gonna talk about anything uh, entertainment wise and long lines. I'm gonna give you my update because people got a lot of questions because I posted some stuff on Facebook yesterday and people got a lot of questions. So I wanna answer as many of your questions as possible. But remember, I am in this uniform, so there's certain things you're gonna hear me pause and stop at because sometimes Dura kind of pops out and I can't allow Dura to pop out during this time. All right, so with me, I think it was a week ago, I posted my retirement calculator game. And people like, my retirement countdown again and people was asking questions about did you restart it what happened it was down to three and then it's back up to six so fat uh let's rewind a little bit back i want to say maybe a year and a half the army had the army was allowing senior ncos to go past their rcp for you non-military people you're like what is your rcp that is the furthest i can go in the military with the rank and the time that i have i'm at e7 the longest I can stay in the military is 24 years, right? Yeah, it was 24 years. So the army said, we're gonna extend that for two years. So it let me go into 26, giving me a chance to finish up, to me personally, giving me a chance to finish up my degree mainly. All right, so with that being said, I'm, I'm still in Hawaii. So that's what reset that, 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 um, that retirement count now. That's why retirement countdown is now at six and not at three, like it originally was a couple months, a couple months ago when I posted a couple times ago. All right, so second, I had requested order, I had requested orders to get off the island. Reason why my spouse had already left. So I said like, you know what? I need to change the signal for myself as well. I cannot get nowhere near my spouse. So let's go ahead and request orders. And, throw this in there too, and, there was supposedly no more room for an additional E7 on this post because most of the post, most of the assignments that I wanted to take on the island was already filled by other E7s who were scared to go to the brigade. Oops, I didn't mean to say that. But moving on. All right, so I have requested orders. So for how we request orders, you know, our time, our time comes up. Uh, I think it's like 18 months out they put you in this thing called a marketplace, right? And the marketplace is simply all the available assignments that you can go to at your current grade. So when I logged on to mine, I had like, I had like eight, assign I had like eight uh, places to go at first. I ranked them in order by where I wanted to go to at least where I wanted to go. Um, some of my choices, some of my top choices were like Fort Belvoir, which I know I wasn't gonna go. You gotta know 900 people to get there anyway. Um, I think it was Fort Belvoir, it was Fort Gordon. Uh, I think it was for Shaw Air Force Base. I think it was Fort Gordon, I believe, and it was something else. I forgot what the fifth one was. So I selected those. The, the marketplace stays open for roughly about 30-ish days, right? So they always tell you go in at midway, like at the midway point, go in again because more assignments open. So I went in and some more assignments were there. So I think I selected Riley and some more places. Places I really didn't want to go, but you gotta rank, you gotta rank them. I think I had 15 choices total, so I had to rank one through 15. So fast forward, marketplace closed. I'm still, you know, I'm still asking people like, hey, do you have anything on the island that I can somewhere I can go as E7 on the island? I can go somewhere. You know, I've been in the brigade four years on top of the brigade that I came over here with. So a total of eight years at brigade time. And I think no one should be at a brigade for eight years. Brigade is really high paced and I think you should be you should not be there for that long anyway because it, it, it messes with your mind mentally, right? Everybody was like, no, no E7s want to rotate out. No, again, you got E7s who's scared to go to the brigade because they're scared they're gonna freaking freaking fail. That's point blank period. So I was like, okay, forget it, whatever. I'll wait till the marketplace come over. So one morning I was getting dressed. I got a phone call. They'd be like, hey, Soren B, this is Branch. For those of y'all that does not know who Branch is, Branch is the, Branch is the soldier or the NCO 
that goes through your stuff who puts you on orders to go somewhere else. He calls me, he was like, yeah, I looked through you, I looked through your stuff. Um, I looked at all your choices you selected. So I can't give you your first five. I can't give you your first six. You're down to number seven. So in other words, you're going to Fort Hood. Okay, getting back to it. So branch manager call and be like, hey, I got you your fifth, your fifth. Like, no, no, your seventh selection. And that was Fort Hood. I was like, bruh, that sucks. But so like I told him on the phone, like there's no need to send me back to a, a brigade because make close to seven years of brigade time, eight years of brigade time complete. Plus top block me like I got the highest, the highest rating from my uh, supervisor on my evaluation. So I'm like, I think I mastered that department time me to do something a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, okay, cool. Uh, he said there may be a slot open at division for you, maybe core. We're not, we're not sure. You're kind of going to be the highest ranking, uh, one of the highest ranking E7s when you get the hood. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'll take the assignment, whatever. All right. Fast forward, you know, I'm getting excited about going there. You know, stuff, you know, stuff is starting to fall into place the way it's supposed to. I'm getting excited. You know, I reached out to the uh, warrant over there. It took the warrant maybe two and a half weeks to reach back to me. He was like, very short and blunt. Hey, how you doing? Welcome. And I sent your information to the Sergeant Major. I was like, to the G2 Sergeant Major. So I'm like, okay, bet. Okay. So, like I said, I sent the warrant, you know, my, um, what you call it, like my little talent profile. I'll let you know, you know, just give you, did the warrant idea of like what I've done, what I've been to, you know, what I've done, uh, what experience I'm coming in there with, or whatever. He was like, you know, he like I said, he took two weeks to reply back. I know they're busy. The most of the divisions are very busy anyway with the new shifting of the army. So I know the divisions are pretty busy. So, but I just wanted him to know who I was and this, that, and the third. So if you want to ask people about me, he could. So keep in mind, I don't know a lot of. Uh, I am like part probably one of the old school NCOs that's left. Most people that I came in with, whether they're warrants or the NCOs. They're getting out or they're about to get out. So I'm on like one or few, one or few levels. I don't know a lot of people, right? So um I got one buddy that's still over there at Hood now. He hit me up one day as I was driving to work one day and be like, hey B, I'm gonna send you an email. So he sent me a e he sent me a copy of the email from the G2 Sergeant Major stating that um that he's diverting me from from uh from this from my current from the assignment that's what I've been going to to another brigade with a rotation over, overseas when I get there when I get there somewhere sometime around February I was like that's not right because if you look at if you look at slotting and look at my 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 previous assignments it tells you you know you know I did a lot I did a couple of overseas I did a couple of overseas rotations and then I also did you know brigade time so I was like no I'm like, if that's the case, if you're going to send me to another brigade, I just want to stay where I'm at and go back to the brigade that I left, which was third brigade here in Hawaii. Did I want to go back there? No. But since I know the warrant there and me and the warrant had a good relationship, it will make it easier for me to finish my time out there. So I started making phone calls. So first person I called was the highest ranking, um, highest ranking 12 Yankee here in Hawaii, which is a master sergeant because they snatched the, they snatched the sergeant major slot away from the sergeant major, the sergeant major here. So I call him, I let him know like, hey, this is what's going on. If that's the case, I'll just stay here in Hawaii. I would just go to, uh, I would go back to the brigade, which I just left, and then we'll be done with it. All right, he tried to call Branch. Once again, Branch took forever, maybe two, three weeks to respond back to his message because for some strange reason, you can only contact Branch via Teams. And Teams is this Microsoft crap. It's like chatting, more or less. You know what I'm saying? It's like chatting on the computer. So he was like, ain't nothing I can do for Sergeant Brinkley. He has to go. He has to go to the hood. No fans bust about it. So <clears throat> the master sergeant was like, well, I would just call uh, one of our Sergeant Majors that's left in this in this MOS that, I, that we both know who could probably give some assistance. I was like, bet, because I knew this Sergeant Major. I just saw this Sergeant Major. This Sergeant Major spoke very highly of me when he saw me. So I said, oh, cool, maybe he could help me. First thing he came back with, how in the world can the military separate you and your spouse? Bruh, that's not important right now. That's not important. We already talked about that. It's not important. It's not a big deal to me. It's not important. 
He came back with, I think you should just go to go to hood. And that's that. So I was like, bruh, like in my mind, like, well, thanks for the help. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for the phone calls. Thanks for calling me, giving me mentorship and advice, which this arm major did not do. Granted, he's getting out, so I understand that. I understand that too. So Master Sergeant called me back and was like, hey, this is what the Sergeant Major said. I was like, all right, well, bruh, whatever. You know? So now I'm like, bruh, time is starting to narrow down and I can't seem to get out of these orders. So I had dropped my retirement packet earlier in the year. So I said, most people say you drop your retirement packet, they process it, orders will kind of dis dis disappear. So I'm like, right, bet. Drop my retirement packet two years out, like the military said I can do. Military said I can drop my retirement packet two years out. So my retirement date that I requested was August 1, 2025, or 31 July 2025. Gotta retire first of the month anyway. So it got pushed up. It, it is sitting at HRC. It is sitting in retirement services at HRC. So me, being the person that I am, I want some answers. So we have this thing called IPSA, right? It's this Army's new new processing thing that they tried out with, right? So you submit all your stuff to the computer. The computer would digitally send your stuff to people. They sign it, and it goes to the next person. They sign it, it goes to the next person. It's supposed to make stuff go a lot faster, but it's not happening that way. It makes stuff go a lot slower. Retirement packing went very quick, though. So retirement packing made it to HRC. So I went and I went in there to say, like, who needs to sign my packet to make it to make it um to make me go ahead and get get my identifier saying I'm going to retire. So I emailed five people. I emailed all five of them. The dude came back with, "Hey, I saw your packet. I looked over it. Everything looks good. I can't process your packet until maybe 12 months from now." I said, 12 months from now? Then what was the point of me turning in my packet? What was the point of you taking my packet in the first place? What was the point of you telling people you can submit your stuff two years prior just for you to say, not going to look at it for a year out? This is going to sit in the inbox. It's going to sit there to get lost in the inbox. Frustrated number two. All right? So I was like, okay, I'm okay, you know, not a big deal. I'm going to keep on pushing. So... The current unit that I'm with, I'm I am currently assigned right now as a break. I am currently assigned to an MI battalion, right? I am assigned to the 125th IEW battalion. In your mind, you're like, what is a 12 Yankee, which is my job, geospatial engineer, doing in a MI battalion? You are not MI. So here's the deal behind that one. I had a warrant officer by I had a warrant officer who I worked for, who I worked for here. She was my she was my senior warrant here. And then I had a sergeant major here. Both of them worked together to get me this assignment to get me out of the brigade. The people that actually cared enough for me to understand that you should not be at a brigade this long. We're gonna give you a break. We're gonna move you over to the. We're gonna move you over to the 125th MI, well IEW battalion. You get a little knee there. You can also help them. You know, stand up. You know, put in your geo, your geospatial skills to help when you help when you can. So I'm like, all right, bet that works for me. So I went to the Sergeant Major here and I'm like, hey, Sergeant Major, this is my issue. I'm trying to get out of it. Keep in mind, this Sergeant Major know me from JBLM. When I used to work for him, he was, he, he was, my, he was my first Sergeant and I was Staff Sergeant Brinkley. Um, So he went out his way to make phone calls to the um, the engineer Sergeant Major up at HR, HRC. And, they, and then what made it ironic, that email he sent got my orders rescinded in less than 24 hours. It got my order to be sent in less than 24 hours. Happiest day of my life. But here's the other part. I had submitted a D Rose change, which is making my date, the date that I can leave Hawaii pushed out further to match the orders that just got rescinded. And then I also threw in a deletion of orders with that, right? But I didn't put a reason for deletion of orders. That paperwork alone took five months to make its way up to HRC. It took five months, people. Once again, remember I told you, HRC is supposed to be this super fast thing. Stuff's supposed to go through pretty quick. It took five months, people. Five months. Five months. So by the time they rescinded my orders, Division was like, no, I have enough E7s here as 12 Yankees. We're going we're gonna to deny your request for deletion of orders. So both of them hit HRC at the exact same time. When the orders were rescinded and that hit HRC at the exact same time. 
So HRC like, well, your unit, don't, well, your unit don't want you anymore. So we're gonna put you back on orders again. Put me back on orders with a report date of January the 11th. Going to a brigade. At this point, I am frustrated. I am tired of fighting. I like freaking. I will just go. So I get a call from my gaining master sergeant over there. He was like, hey, I don't know why you're ordered if it's already E7 over here. I was like, what? He like, yeah, it's already E7 over here. I don't know why your branch put you on orders for this assignment that's already E7 over here. We only authorize one E7. I'm like, wow, that's really a good point there, Master Sergeant. So the E7 called me and was like, hey, you know I'm over here, right? I'm like, I don't know you was over here. Like, the branch just put me on orders. So like, what is branch doing? Once again, branch, why are you not tracking where your E7s, 12 Yankees are? It's like 60 of us. It's not that many of us. It's like 60 total, maybe 50 to be exact. You don't know where your people are? So once again, I reached out to Branch again like, hey, Branch, you know, hey, we're well, having a good day. You know, good morning from Hawaii. This is that the third. Hey, um, is there any other assignments besides a brigade that I can go to when I get, when I get the hood? He came back with, no, all I got is brigades, but there may be a division slot that's opening up. I said, well, cool. Pinpoint me, meaning put me on orders directly for division. I'm like, it's already a person at the slot you're sending me to already. He was like, all right, whatever. Give me a couple of hours. Give me a day or so, whatever. And then I got orders for division. This is the part that gets me. There is brigades still in, in, there are brigades still over at Hood who does not have E7s there. So in my mind, I'm thinking, what am I going to think is going to happen when I, when, I, when I get on ground there, right? Branch, ha Branch can only put you on assignment somewhere, but when you get to an installation or a post or a military installation, they have the right to move you wherever they feel like it. I have told people, this mental status right now to go back to a brigade is not what it used to be. Did you go reach out for help? Yeah, I did. You know what these jokers told me when I reached out for help? Oh, go see, go see the civilian lady who don't put anything on record. I am a senior NCO, people. I've been in the military for over 20 years. If anybody needs to see some mental, some mental people, it's probably me. But it's okay. But it's okay. If I go over there and lay hands on somebody, they'll be like, we never saw this coming. Yeah, you never saw this coming because most of you mental people do not care. All right. So I am currently pending orders for, for I'm currently pending orders for Fort Hood for Division. Once again, I, I supposed to leave in January. I supposed to be off this island like, like December 10th or 9th, I believe. I have no orders in hand yet. None whatsoever. None at all. None at all. So what is Petty Brinkley going to do? I'm going to ask for another deferment. And I'm going to do it. But that's... But I don't understand... God, I'm trying to figure out a way to explain it without sounding terrible when I say it. I don't understand with the military being so short. Why aren't we doing better at putting our people where they need to be. We have to stop looking at P as soldiers as numbers and look at them as what is where is best for them to go. Second, we need to stop this old buddy buddy system, right? I understand people are friends and you know friends want to hook friends up and this that and the third. But the more you hook friends up with good assignments, the more you screw up good NCOs that's working the hard assignments. And it makes them want to get out or makes them do stuff that's not in their character because they can't get a different assignment. It's only a long, it's only so long that a senior NCO can work a hard assignment. And you got people who works in these easy assignments and don't care to move. They just sit in those. E and then people allow that to happen. Like, like, I, like, just call a spade a spade. 
senior NCOs in our MOS, my MOS 12 Yankee, allow these people who want these easy assignments to sit in these assignments and just ride their time out there and then don't care about the other NCOs who's in these hard assignments going hard assignment, hard assignment, hard assignment, hard assignment, hard assignment, back to back like that. And then they wonder why you can't keep people in the army. Oops, did I say that? I said it. And they wonder why you can't keep people in the army. That's the reason why. No one is caring about job performance of a soldier. No one is caring about the position the soldiers originally held. No one is caring about that whatsoever. And then when you when you when you do that, people get out. They take all their good talents and get out. And those them good NCOs who did hard assignment, hard assignment, hard assignment, hard assignment, hard assignment, they get out, and then you're left with other. These not so good NCOs. And then they the ones that get promoted, they get promoted, they get promoted, and then they become Sergeant Majors. And then I said it several times in a min in many, many videos. You can't keep promoting shit and expect them to be great. You're just gonna promote shit and then they're gonna be a shitty NCO. They're gonna be a shitty Sergeant Major. But these are the people who's gonna lead our army into the next future. Those are these, these are these people who are gonna be, they're gonna drop warrant packets, they're gonna drop officer packets, and they're gonna keep on moving up in the army. And they still gonna be pathetic NCOs, they're gonna be pathetic leaders. Because we as an army is allowing this to happen. But anyway, that's all my soapbox now. But that is what's going on with me. So Fort Hood, I will be seeing you. When I see you, I don't know when. I will be seeing you at Fort Hood. I look forward to going to Fort... I'm lying. I don't look forward to going to Fort Hood. I don't look forward to seeing Fort Hood. I want to stay in Hawaii and finish my time in Hawaii. But it's not going to happen. So I'm, I'm getting my mind set. I'm getting my mind straight to go to, to, go to Fort Hood. It's just not working. But anyway, with that being said... Let me know if you're in the military, you're going through the same thing. Let me know down in the comments or let me know how you feel about the whole situation, period. Right. And no, I'm not getting out until I finish my degree. So don't go there. Um, let me know down in the comments how you feel about this whole this whole thing. Right. Give me your thoughts. Give me your views. Uh, hey. I got a, hey, I got strong skin. I can take whatever you put down here, but give me your thoughts. Give me your views. Let me know uh, how you feel about it. With that being said, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Again, please like, comment, share, subscribe for the third time. Please like, comment, su comment, share, and subscribe. Share it with everybody. Share it to the world. Let them know. Be crazy on. And it's going to be so much fun wherever we are. Whether we stay in Hawaii or whether we go to go to, go to hood, you're going to go with me. You're going to have fun with me, and we're going to blow up because B Cray TV is on the air. Thanks for watching. Um, stay positive. Love each other. Hug each other. Tell a family member you miss them and you love them. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.